Hello, my name is Maxim, and in today's video, I want to show you how Terraform can be installed using TFN and how to configure uh, Visual Studio Code to work with Terraform. So first, what I need to do is to download the TFN. Let me open the Google and I can just simply type here TFN and I can open the first link. This will be GitHub repository. What I need to do is to clone TFN repository into dot tf and directory so that what i will do once repository uh cloned what i need is to add a uh, tf and in binary into pass or i can create some symbolic link to the tf and binary i would choose this option i already have this command executed so it won't work for me but if you run it it will automatically create those links uh, now I have tfn command available and it has multiple options such as install, use, uninstall, list, list, remote and few other. Uh, so first what I can do is to run terraform tfn install. And what will happen? Latest available version of the terraform will be installed. And next it suggests me to run tfn because if I will run Terraform right now, for example, let me try to run Terraform version, nothing will happen because no such file at directory. I can copy this. I can, I can run it and it will select this version. Now I should be able to run Terraform version and as you, as you see right now, I'm using the latest version of the Terraform. Uh, TFN support other options, so I can do a TFN list. It will show me all the versions which it install locally, and I can do list remote. This will show me all versions available, and I can download any of those versions, even the alpha versions. Uh, also, I can uninstall, like I can, if I do uninstall, it will uninstall the latest version. Also, I can specify which version do I want to install? For example, like, let's take version 1.1.2. And I can run use without install. If you're using the latest version of the TN, TFN, it will automatically install this version. If you're using the older version, it will say that uh, Terraform 1.1.2 is not present and you need to install it first. So I don't need like really to run TFN command. Uh, another very useful feature of the TFN is .terraform.version files. Let me show you by example. I'm going to create two folders, project one and project two. And let's imagine that those projects are using different version of the Terraform. So inside of every of this project, I'm going to create file with name .terraform version. And I will put some version of the Terraform here. Let's build be like 1.1.1. And what I can do right now, I can do not execute tfn command at all. I can just simply run terraform, any terraform command, and it automatically detected that version should be used here as 1.1.1. It automatically downloaded the correct version and automatically execute tfn use. And let's switch to the another repo. And this repo can be some old repository, which is using pretty old version of the terraform. Let's do like 14.6 and I can do here the same. I can just simply run Terraform version and correct version will be automatically downloaded for me. And as you may see, Terraform version. So, and now once I'm back to the previous version, I can run Terraform again without anything and I will be automatically switched to the correct version of the Terraform. This is very helpful when you have the multiple projects which uh, rely on the different version of the Terraform and it's very critical to use that specific version of the Terraform for a specific project. In this case, you don't need to worry that accidentally you may uh, like run incorrect version of the Terraform. Uh, also to make like writing code Terraform a bit easier, I'm using the uh, text editor called Visual Studio Code. I can also type VS Code in the Google and first link will be Visual Studio Code. I'm going to download binary for Windows. Uh, also, I'm using the Windows and but I'm using the VSL with Ubuntu. So it's kind of Linux in, uh, 
in, in container or something like that inside of the window. So I would need to do few like different configuration, which is not required if you are using the simply like Mac or, or Linux, you don't need to, to do that. But since I'm using uh, like that VSVSL, I would need to install additional extension for uh, Visual Studio Code, which called uh, VSL to, to make to make it work inside of the VSL. So uh, now I install the Terraform, so for, sorry, Visual Studio Code. Now I need to install the extension called VSL and I have it already installed and I already connected to, to the VSL. So next, what I need to do is to download the Terraform extension. I already have it installed, so I'm going to uninstall it. And I have button, as you may see, install in VSL Ubuntu. So if you are not in the VSL, it will be simply install. So I'm going to click here. And after that, extension is installed uh, for VS Code. And I can create file. I can do, name it main tfnf, and I would go to the Terraform documentation to copy just some example. And I would paste right here. So Terraform has sync called Terraform FMT and Visual Studio Code, you can easily automate that. What Terraform FMT is doing is just formatting your code. So let me show you by example. For example, I, I write in some code, but I have some spaces. It can be some other sync. What I can do now, I can click Ctrl Shift P and I can type format and enter. And as you may see, uh, like code was automatically formatted. But another very useful feature is auto formatting. So if I'll go to the settings, I already have it configured. Uh, you may have this setting as UI. I have it as JSON. So if you have it as UI, you can just let me show you. I can probably open the settings from here. Settings and I have the settings for VSL. I have the settings for non-VSL, but it should be somewhere UI. Preference open settings UI. So what I can do here, I can find here format and I can click here, format file on save. And if you're using the JSON, you would need to add here, I uh, should be somewhere, format on editor, format on save equal to true. So that's what you need to do. And now, I can again add some multiple spaces. You are working some code, you have something like that. And then you click the save and code is automatically formatted for you. So it's super easy. Also, besides that, uh, a Terraform extension has many other things such as uh, IntelliSense, syntax validation, since like highlighting code, navigation code, formatting. So it's, it's super useful and it's helped a lot with like to work with Terraform. Thank you for your attention.